Okay, so this morning, I've got Bandit out here with me. My special guest this morning, Bandit is a Sonoran gopher snake. Now I'm gonna put her right on up to the camera so you can take a look at how beautiful of patterns that she has. And why I'm making this video today is not so we can be like, oh, Stacy's a snake expert, because I'm not, I'm not a snake expert. Why I have Bandit and love Bandit, um, I want to protect her. She is is a, a good noodle. This is this is a non-venomous native snake to Arizona. And so this is a Sonoran gopher snake that I adopted as a baby. Huh, so I got you as a baby noodle. So he was a baby noodle. And um, there are laws and rules and stuff. So as I'm talking, I don't want anyone to get the impression that you can just go buy one, that you can... Um, any of those things, I'm not even even suggesting that. Why I'm making this video is I follow a lot of people online um, and I'm in different groups and clubs. And one of the, the hardest things that you encounter when you first move to the desert is identifying a good snake from a bad snake. Now I'm in that category that I'm gonna tell you they're all good, they all have their purpose, they all have, have their things. I'm gonna try to move around the best I can. She's more comfortable when I'm moving around. Um, and so, yeah, my, my train of thought's gonna be more on her than actually what I'm talking about. Um, because Bandit is not necessarily a pet. Like, so I adopted Bandit through an organization who legally can, um, um, if you have to have a snake removed from your property and moved around and stuff, because you can't just do that. You have to have proper people that know how. And so a few years back, um, for whatever reason, they had a group of babies that needed to be homed. For us, this was perfect for the Desert Nature Alliance. This is my nonprofit if you're new to me, and this is what I do is, is education. I try to, to spread a little bit more of the love and the desert education out here. So um, when I saw that that was a possibility that I could adopt one, and there's rules. Like I said, there's rules. She is going to be with me for a, a long, long time, and she's going to get quite big actually she's still kind of small she's going to wind up being uh, six feet you know so you're looking at large enclosures when you talk about housing snakes for life and that kind of thing but this is my ambassador this is my my snake so i can tell everybody look this is this is an angel she's not doing anything bad she's not doing anything at all her problem if you will and i call it a her someone told me this was a girl watch at some point in my life i'm going to be told bandit's a boy doesn't matter love this snake to pieces she tends to look a little bit like the rattlesnakes that we have out here. And so that's confusing. And it's also something that can get you hurt if you think that you're seeing something that is a gopher snake and it happens to be a rattlesnake. And so I'm going to try to use her a little bit more in the videos than I have before. And again, like I said, not so much. So we're going to, I'm going to be the snake expert. We're not doing anything like that. You guys, not at all. What I'm really here for, as always, is the mama side, the emotional side. So you can start getting comfortable. You can get used to seeing um, snakes. You can, you can say, okay, I can zoom in. I can see the different patterns on the snake that she's holding. I can see how relaxed the snake is, all the above. Now, like any creature, I get asked all the time, well, well, could she bite you? Well, anything with a mouth could bite me. And I'm gonna be really honest right now, the scariest pet that I have in and around here is my cat. Now, those of you that know the cat think that's funny, you're already laughing. My cat's scary, my cat has, has scratched individuals to the point of bleeding, has bit, um, she, she's a fierce little thing. The dog's been hurt. The, the, my cat is who I worry about. Don't worry about my snake. Not, not at all. And if for whatever reason I upset Bandit and Bandit decided I spooked her, or him, spooked Bandit and we decided to bite me, I'm not going to get hurt and I'm certainly not going to die from it. Not at all. We don't have fangs like that. It's not like a rattlesnake, you guys. Rattlesnakes have fangs because they are venomous, not poisonous. They are venomous. Because of the fangs they have, when they bite, they are able to give you that horrible load of, hi, I'm, I'm going to hurt you very bad. Water. So, no, they are built completely different. The teeth that she has are more for like, so when I grab a hold of you, I can, I can hold on to you and she's gonna kind of spin around and, and break whatever she, she's gonna eat. Like I said, we're not gonna talk about that as much. I don't wanna get, for, for those of you that do follow me, that watch me, this is next, so this is not your like, oh, the snake anatomy lecture. 
what I'm really trying to get is there's too many new people that come out that are just deathly afraid. And it's like, oh my God, there's snakes everywhere. Well, no, there, there's not snakes everywhere. And if you are lucky enough to have a gopher snake on your property, and I say it that way, lucky enough, they are going to help you control the pack rat nests that, that develop around here. Pack rats will get into your cars, get into the, the engine, get into the wires and cost you a lot of money. They are a huge, huge problem. Absolutely. She's like, you're not moving around. I'm not moving around much. <laughs> talking about rats, you're not talking about me. Maybe I'm getting hungry. Um, I also, when, when I'm out here, there's a lot of the different smells from the, the things that I have out here. So it's really hard to keep Bandit like focused out here. She's like, where did you take me? Mommy, where did you take me? Here, take a look for a minute. So yes, pack rats, They're, her job is to go after your rodents. So this is just, this is your nature rodent control. So I don't know what, you know, you're not gonna have tons of snakes, but you could have lots of rats. Do you see what I mean? So this is, this is part of your ecosystem. This is part of, of the balance of it all and embracing it and, and understanding. Um, <laughs> she's so sweet today, just, just hanging out. Just hanging out, not really sure, you know, it's beautiful out for her. The weather is, is really, really wonderful. So she's very comfortable being toasty out here. I'm a little too warm. We're probably approaching the, the 90s already this morning. So, so she's more than comfortable being out here. And then I brought her an extra little home to put her in if I feel like she's really over just being held. Um, but like I said, this is what I want you guys to see. I want you, some of you to really be able to relax and go, okay, I can breathe. Stacy's just talking to me. There's nothing, there's nothing bad. This animal is not striking at me, <laughs> not chasing me, anything like that. Okay. Being able to recognize when you live around here is crucial. Okay. I don't want you like to grab for anything. I want you to be able to see. I want you to, to really understand and know who lives around and, and how they behave. You might see her up in a bush, up in a tree, she'll definitely climb. Um, now people have said they'll keep, a, a gopher snake means you don't have rattlesnakes around. I'm gonna tell you that's not true on my property. I have multiple acres out here. I've seen everybody, but <laughs> I've seen, we've seen the diamondbacks, so we've seen gopher snakes, I've seen coach whips, you name it, it, it it's out here. And that, that's why I have the alliance. Um, but it did take me a little bit to get more comfortable with the fact of knowing that I needed to be able to identify if what something slithering by could potentially hurt me, my pets, or if this was just somebody who <laughs> is just is hanging around waiting, waiting for the, the next meal who I want to stay on the property. So being able to see the patterns to recognize it to understand to see the head shape difference the tail i'm trying to get her tail up here for you there's an obvious there's no rattle now from my understanding being around snakes snakes when nervous will just shake their tail okay i don't think that's anything they've been taught or learned or all whatever we're not going to get into that all i know is that she doesn't have a rattle but there are times if she doesn't she's like oh if i open up the cage for whatever if she's getting ready to shed attitude whatever for the day um, she'll just shake it. She'll make noise. She'll even do a little hiss, but she's, she's not, she's trying her best to fend me off because I am huge compared to her and she literally has nothing. What, what is she going to do to me? What, what can she possibly do to me? <laughs> she is not venomous. Her teeth are small. She can't swallow me. That's nothing. Okay. No, she's just a, just a, a good snake. She's just, I'm just hanging out. I'm just trying to, can I go live my life kind of thing. And basically I'd say the rattlesnakes are the same. And I'm looking over here because I have the table. Um, if you follow any of the videos that I have made in the past, no, I would never kill anything, but we do see roadkill out here quite a bit. We also have vultures and just nature out here. And so the things that I found, I was able to, the, the best that I possibly could is let's preserve them so then we can show the pattern difference. So you don't necessarily have to see a live rattlesnake. I don't have to have live rattlesnake to be able to show you and do what I'm doing right now is to show you this is this is a gopher snake. And then I have um, rattlesnakes. Let me see if I can get one while I'm still holding her. Um, pattern difference. There's, it's more of a diamond. Let me see if I can get this And here's the tail. Bear with me, guys. Okay. 
Okay, so the tail difference, and it's just dried out. You know, don't make fun of my, my <laughs> drying skills. It's not what I do for a living. Okay, huge difference. There tends to be black and white stripes. And I say tends to be because there are different kinds of rattlesnakes out here. Um, but black and white stripe at the end, plus the rattle, plus the diamonds, plus the head shape. There's a lot of, of shape difference, color difference, and look difference from a gopher snake to a rattlesnake. Oh, here we go. There we go. Let's go with one of the pictures that I have up close. Let's see if I can get it up there for you. You can see the rattle. Can you see the rattle in there? She does not. Her tail, totally different. There, there is there is a big difference. Um, these guys get long. Gopher snakes tend to get long. Or rattlesnakes like to say get fat. They're thick kind of, kind of snake. And the a rattlesnake's head is very like a, a diamond shape. Whereas it, it, it kind of mimics it, but not. I'm showing too much of her belly right here. Let's see if we can get the colors in here. Let's see if I can come back. <laughs> She's really not moving at all. All right, so yeah. Yes, this, this is dangerous. You own a snake, Stacey. Yeah, this, this is a dangerous creature that I'm holding on to here. Boom, can, can we get you to move just a little bit? Thank you, because that was killing my arm. Okay, but it's good. Oh, your tail's in a perfect spot. Okay, so look at her tail. Though it has stripes on it, there's no rattle. You can see in this picture, let's see if we can get it up there, black and white, and you've got rattles on them. So again, more to just spend some time with her, to relax, to be able to be like, okay, I can breathe. I can, I can work my way through it. If I see a snake, I can I can reach out to Stacy. I can talk to her. But no, I really don't want you to reach out to me if you have if snake issues. You have great places. If you're in Arizona, if you've got rattlesnake solutions, if you're not sure, and they'll be able to come out and educate you and show you what you have on your property and um, do fencing and all that kind of stuff for you. Um, and do your own homework if you're out here. So if you are out and about, you need to be able to recognize the creatures that, that live out here beautiful, amazing creatures that, that live out here. Not be afraid of them. Respect. Huh. So I, I deserve respect. So you look at the beautiful patterns. Beautiful patterns. But they are not diamonds. But yeah, there, there's a, there is a similarity. Absolutely. So thank you for spending the time. And I'm going to try to keep her out and about and do a little bit more in the videos. She's not... I don't use her like, oh, okay, let's, you know, let's pass her around or, or, or treat her like that. Um, Bandit to me is still a wild, <laughs> wild creature who happens to get spoiled where, where she lives now. Um, so, <laughs> so that's all. So like I said, I want you to, to this is your first step in, in getting used to being around a snake, getting used to being around a very calm, relaxed one that is not a boa constrictor. This is actually a native snake to Arizona. Are you about done with this? You thinking you're about done? You want to check that out? She might be a little bit done with this. So, Like I said, give me shout out, some comments, all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's right. We were going to tell them. We were going to tell you guys the Latin name, but for the life of me, I can't pronounce it. I don't consider myself a herper. I'm not going to say I'm not. This is not expert. This is us saying, hey, this gorgeous creature lives out here. We want to protect her. I want to protect her. And she is a... I don't know how you say that. Whatever. She's a, she's a gopher snake. Not a bull snake. We don't have bull snakes out here. This is my gopher snake. Bandit. Ambassador for the Desert Nature Alliance. Hey, you guys, if you want to help support support my channel, definitely hit the like and subscribe button. Also, if you shop on Amazon, Amazon's got this great program that you can just donate to. Well, they'll donate on behalf of you to um, any nonprofit. And so, yeah, let them spend some of that cash on, on us. So have a great one. Much love as always from Gold Canyon from Arizona. And hope to be talking to you soon. Boom. Say bye to everybody. Can you say bye? Can, can you say goodbye to everybody? Have a good one, guys.